Greetings friend, I will show you my tricks for solving championship Sudoku without marks. Not only that, later in the video, I'll reveal a new trick that will help you solve Sudoku even faster. You're going to love it. Click below if you want to give it a go with that. It's solving time. First thing you want to notice is you want to cross hatch. you got fives across rows four and six. So there's only one place left for a five here in block six. And we're going to keep focusing here on block six because what you can see is that this four cuts across row six, this four is coming up column nine, it's the only place left for a four. So this is uh, some hidden singles doing a little cross hatching. And you might notice you have a three, eight, and a nine left here in block six. So I got a three and nine already in column eight, so I can solve that for an eight. And then it looks like you might not be able to solve this three and the nine yet, but actually we can. And here's one of my tricks I'm gonna show you. You got this nine cutting across, row five, you got this nine coming down. So the nines are limited to two spots here in block five. And I'm gonna highlight that to kind of show you the concept. I'm not really making marks here. This is a pointing pair, which means the nines are limited in block five to row four. So a nine can't be anywhere else along row four. It means this cell here cannot be a nine. So we can actually solve that for three and solve this cell for a nine. If you wanna to learn the top seven strategies needed to solve a puzzle like this, Download my free solving guide. I got it in the pinned comment below and also in the description. Now, let's move on here and get rid of these colors and we'll move on with the solve. Next thing you wanna do is as you're making these marks, just kinda of shift your focus and go, okay, where can I do more solve? So I wanna look here in column A and go, I need a one, two, and a four. Can't solve that completely yet. But then we also made some marks over here in column nine. So we got a one, three, four, six seven so we need a two five eight nine well i see a two eight and a nine across row one so that means this has to be your five and as soon as i get out of that color mode we'll put the five in there and so now we're looking for a two eight nine all right so we got the nine here and we got the two here so this is kind of a neat little trick that's going to let us solve all three of these and this is what i was telling you about the trick that i've just learned and i hope to use it more than once here Whenever you need to solve three cells in block, and two of them are on the same block, and the other one's up here, if you have one of those candidates in the block and another one looking into it, you can solve all three cells at the same time. So I see the two here, and the two, I see the nine right here, and I see the two there. So I automatically know this is the eight, and because of the nine right there, this has to be the two, and then this is gonna be our nine. I love that little trick. I've been using that and doing my no mark solves in my pencil puzzles. If you want to learn more neat tricks like that, subscribe to Smart Hobbies. Okay, after we make that solve, what's kind of nice about this is you can keep using these solves to make more progress in the puzzle. So since we just get this two, I remember I said there's a one, two, four in column nine. So we can actually solve this cell now for a one. And what it, we've done is we've built up more cells across row nine. Whenever I have five or more filled in, I want to kind of analyze and look at that block and see if there's something we can do about it. The other thing I want to look at is you know, naked triple area. So since we have six of these filled in, there's only three cells remaining. It has to be a three, five, seven. Well, I can see a five and a seven right there. So I know this has to be a three. Okay, and then I look across here and I'll come back down to row nine here in just a second. And we need a one, four, and a nine. Hopefully you see right away, there's a one and a four right here. So that has to be your nine. This is gonna be a one and a four. We'll keep that in our working memory. In fact, uh, I'll just kind of highlight these two cells to kind of show you what I'm talking about, that that's a one or a four. Now, if we come down here, we got a one, two, three, four, eight, we need a five, six, seven, nine. So we got six, nine, so we know this is a five or seven, seven, nine, so we need a five or six, five, and now you see right here, five, six, seven, nine, we got the five, six, nine, so we actually know that has to be your seven, so we can mark that for a seven. Nice. Okay, and now since the nines are here and here, we can mark this for a nine because it can't be anywhere else along row nine. So we're able to solve that one pretty easily as well. Love this. And since we just solved this nine, if you remember, one of those two spots was a nine. So now we can go back here and solve this cell for a nine. We've taken care of all the nines. Now we've added a lot more uh, solves in here. We're going to shift our focus now. Uh, actually, we can finish solving row nine. Why don't we just finish solving row nine? All right, because you need we need a six and we need a five. So this has got to be your six, and it's got to be your five, and this is going to be your seven. Nice. 
And so we're going to kind of use this. Remember, this is the one or a four. So we need a two, six, eight across this block to fill it out. Well, I got a six and eight right there. So I might as well just mark that for a two. And this is going to lead us up here. I remember I solved this during the Grand Prix. It took me around 10 minutes. And I remember this idea of that after I solved something, I would just kind of look in the house where I added a candidate to see if there's more to do. Uh, really enjoyed this puzzle. I didn't have that much trouble with it. Uh, but writing with the pencil, it takes a little bit longer than doing it on the computer like we're doing here. So what else do we need? It looks like a 1, 3, 4. I got a 4 and a 1 right there. So this has to be a 3. And because of this 4, this is going to be your 1, and that's going to be your 4. Nice. So we're working these tricks. It's doing great. You can see right here, there's only two cells remaining. It's a 2 or a 4. I already got the 4. So I know this has to be a 4, and that's got to be your 2. Okay. And then what do we have left? It looks like a... One six eight. I got two eights here, so I know this has to be the eight. This is going to be a one six. Can't solve the one six yet. But now, if we look across row one, we see four cells missing. Right? We got a. We need a one, four, six, or seven. Where can a seven be across row one? Well, it can't be here because of this seven. It can't be here because of this seven. It can't be here because of this seven. So we know this has to be a seven. And this reminds me of another no mark solve I did of a championship puzzle. I'll put a link to that at the end. You do want to check that out. We got a lot of great solving still to go. Okay, now I'm looking in here and I need a one, two, three. I see the three coming up, column one. So I know this cell has to be a three. So I know this has to be a one or a two. I got my two here. So here's your two and there's your one. And now we look across here and we need, looks like a one and a five. I got a one and I already in column five. So there's your one and there's your five. And now we're going to look across here and go, okay, what do we need to fill this out? We need a two, looks like we need a six and an eight. All right, I got my two and an eight right there. So this has to be your six. But what we can do, since we solved this one right here, you remember this was that one or four, I kind of put that in there to show you that we'd be able to come back and solve that for the one or the four. All right, remove those, and it's going to help us do even more solving. Because now with this four, the fours in columns one and two, we got two fours here and four six. We know we can solve this cell for a four. Nice. And then we have three cells across here. What is that going to be? It's going to be a three. It looks like it's going to be a seven or an eight. So we got a three coming in here. Got the seven and the eight right there. So we know that's going to be your three. That's going to be your eight, and that's going to be your seven. It's that same trick I showed you earlier. So you can kind of go back, and I'll kind of show this to you again. So we need the three, seven, eight. The seven's in the block with two of the cells, and the eight is pointing into the block. So we already know we can solve all three of those right away. So that's going to be your three, that's your eight, and that's your seven. Awesome, awesome little trick. I've been using that all the time recently, and I love it. Okay, what do we got now? It looks like we need two cells here. So we know we're going to be able to solve this cell right off the bat because these two are a naked pair. They have to be a two or six. Got the two there. So here's the two and the six. And regardless of what those two are, we know we could already solve that one for our eight. Nice. And then this is going to be a two as well. Okay, getting to the spot where we can start looking at some full houses. So in column three, we got a full house, means there's only one can't remain. Whenever you have a full house, it's a naked single that we're going to be able to solve, which would be a six in this case and an eight right there nice and then remember this is a one or a six we got this one in row two so that's got to be your one that's got to be your six and now we're looking at looks like a six uh, i got this six right here so i know this has to be your six and we're going to complete this full house with a four nice and now we got another full house down here so i always want to look and go okay well how can i fill out that full house so that's going to be a five Go back up here. Looks like we need a three or a seven. I got a seven right there. So here's your seven. Here's your three. Come on down. I don't have a three yet in block eight. So that's got to be your three. And the last cell is a one. You need to watch this other video if you want to solve Sudoku without marks even better. Thank you so much for watching.